Once upon a time, a 20-year-old girl named Kate Middleton caught the eye of a 19-year-old boy named William, who just so happened to be the eldest son of the late Princess Diana and second in line of succession to the British royal throne. And that was that. Their love story is a real-life fairy tale. Even after all of these years, Kate and William, love for each other, is unlike anything else. She entered Westminster Abbey, a commoner, and walked out a duchess. But now as the Princess of Wales, Catherine proved that her feet remain firmly on the ground. The outfit chosen by her for her first day as a member of the royal family cemented her status as the new people's princess. The Princess of Wales is considered one of the best-dressed women on the planet. Fact. Her unrivaled elegance and polished power dressing has provided royal fans with style inspiration for over a decade. For the past 12 years, I've been a fashion blogger who adores everything about Princess Catherine. I love her contributions to the royal family and hope that Prince and Princess Catherine will become king and queen in the near future. The color pink ombre Gucci dress at the 100 Women in Financial Dinner During 2019 is the best romantic looks of Princess Catherine. I decided to begin with this outfit, a flowy rose and white dress which looked appealing enough for a meal. It's made by Gucci. The then Princess of Wales dressed the ombre outfit during a grand event for the 100 Women in Financing at the Royal Victoria and Albert Gallery. She accessorized in sparkling designer Oscar de la Renta shoes, a Prada handbag, and Morganite jewels by Kiki McDonough. I believe that we are all in agreement that this is another of Catherine's greatest romantic ensembles to date, which is a sparkling, bright pink dress complemented by a floor-length skirts and fluttering sleeves by the vampire's wife, a fanatic's favorite company. The ruby-colored pink light dreamer gown is called such. Throughout the previous year's visit, the princess donned the sequined gown to a dinner banquet in Belize. She accessorized the stunning outfit with golden Onita studs, golden Jimmy Choo Mimi footwear, as well as an accompanying purse embellished with Maya needlework. For a visit of 2016, she donned a Templey London dress. Her dress attracted attention in her Temperley London combination. She donned a coordinating Delphia extended dress, as well as crop top created by the Brands Cree Tour to a special ceremony honoring Queen Elizabeth's 90th anniversary. I'm in love with the exquisite needlework. I'd like to witness her wearing this style frequently. And what do you think of? She accessorized and accepting a black Prada clutch, a set of black footwear said to come from Gianvito Rossi, although not verified as well as a set of unnamed jewels dated no later than 2007. When you want to recreate Catherine's look for a forthcoming occasion, you're out of luck. While the couple walked onto the purple runway during the art gala in 2011, donning the shimmering gown, she created quite a stir. Through her brilliant tan and perfectly coiffed locks, Alexander McQueen's single-shoulder gown, she appeared beautiful. Due to this type of outfit has been a popular favorite. The princess accessorized with Rose Prada, purse and fuchsia L.K. Bennett footwear adorned with a ribbon. Her sterling links of London jewelry added a dazzling accent. One of many elegant maternity fashion moments, Catherine, who was pregnant with Princess Charlotte at the time, wore a dark blue Jenny Packham gown for the St. Andrew's 600th anniversary dinner at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. The princess had worn this particular dress before, but this time she styled it with a sleek updo and gemstone earrings. This embellished Jenny Packham gown was a particularly glitzy moment for Kate. She wore the look to the Royal Variety performance at the Palladium Theatre in London, along with a small silver clutch and silver shoes.